Hi everyone, welcome back to Coding and Creating. Today in our digital art lesson, we're gonna look at a website called Sumo Paint. This is a fun app. We're gonna be using the free version. You can see on their little um, information page, some really fun, amazing art that their professional artists created. You can see it's got lots of different tools. It's got multiple paint brushes, different drawing tools, some layers. You can do three, I think, on the free version. But let's go in and, and explore some of this. So the website um, address, I'm going to put this website address in our Schoology page. So you can just click directly and go right here. You do not have to sign in. You don't have to buy anything. We're only using the free version of the website. Um, they have a lot of different apps that they list up here for painting and different things. Um, but today we're just using the Sumo Paint app. All right, so let's dig into this. When you first go in, right now I'm on the paintbrush control. You can see this little icon that's uh, a paintbrush. If I click on one of the other tools, notice that these properties up here change as I click on the different tools. When I go back to the paintbrush, I see all of these properties of the paintbrush. So if I just uh, start clicking my mouse and dragging, you can see that I can draw a line that's black. And this is what 100% opacity, that's sort of how transparent. And you can see all these different um, elements. If I click right here on color, I can choose a color. And, um, and you do that by moving this around. If you want to pick one here, whatever that little circle's on, that's going to be your color. And you just click OK. And you can start to see the new color. Right here under diameter, a lot of people want to have either a smaller brush or a larger. So if I make it bigger, look at that giant brush there. OK. And then right here it says brush, and I'm just on sort of a standard brush. Uh, this type of brush might be a little bit more soft around the edges. If I want it to be more um, very crisp in the solid edge, see how the, the brush is more solid. Um, then there's all these novelty ones that are kind of fun. So I don't know if I want to do dogs here. Let's all let me do a different color. I'll do little. That color dogs, I can stamp with it or I can draw with it. That's kind of fun, isn't it? Different types of uh, unique brushes, all kinds of ones that will give you different effects. So you can see how that sort of edge brush makes it look like it's got a more natural type of feel. So you can experiment with all of those different controls. Um, you've got different tools like this, like an eraser. Now notice that it's actually making that, that uh, background sort of, the checker pattern will not show up in your final art. It will just be transparent. Um, I'm gonna do uh, just an undo to get rid of that, but you can see those little things. If you want to color over it with white, that's another way to get rid of things. Um, this little control here does this sort of gradient type fill. If you drag your mouse, you can start to go along and draw all these sort of cool gradients and things like that. There's different effects that you can apply. And let's see, you can draw over the top of that one. If you over here, there's different layers. So if you want to add new layers and draw on top of things, you can. Let's see, here's a paintbrush. So if you have some sort of shape that you want to fill, with a particular color, you can do that. So here's uh, some different shapes you can add. So here's a square shape. I can just drag my cursor across. It fills it in. I've got the line color, which is what's on the outside of the shape. And here's the fill color. So if I want to change um, to a different fill color, remember you got to click. You can choose sort of the tone, but then click your mouse so you got a little circle. And then say OK. Now next, the next square I make look like that. Um, lots of different properties here. This is the, by the way, this is the thickness of the line on the outside of the drawing. So if I do this, notice that it's got that red color on the outline. That's because my line color, it's really thick, but it's red and the fill color is green. All right, so lots of different shapes. This one's kind of fun. This is uh, like a sort of a symmetry tool. When, look what happens when you drag your mouse around there. And let me change my color so you can see it better. I don't know what kind of color would go well with this. How about that color? Does that look good? Let's try that one. 
Ooh, that looks pretty neat and I can make all these cool patterns. So you can experiment with that one. These are some tools to be able to sort of blur the image so you can see how I can soften those lines. This one allows you to smudge the lines and sort of like if you're taking your finger on maybe chalk or something, you can start to smudge things. But that can give you a really cool effect. And just experiment with all of these tools and see what you can do. The nice thing about these layers over here, if you create new layers, you can have, I believe, three layers for with the free version. And um, if you want to hide a layer, you can tap this little button right here, and that will um, sort of uh, hide that layer temporarily. And or I can get rid of the background layer. By the way, these little checkered patterns that uh, when you save your document, if it's um, it'll just make that transparent. So it's kind of nice if you want to place that into a presentation. You don't want you just want to have a transparent background. That's what that does. Um, so if you want to move things around, you can click on a particular layer. Like let's say if I click on this one, I can use these arrows to move things forward or backwards. So this layer is now covering up that layer. I can move it back so that now they're stacked up the way they were. And let's see. So a lot of this is just going to be experimenting. You can create lots of great art. Um, in their help section, they do have a nice tutorials that go really in depth if you're really enjoying this program. And you can get some really advanced features. And when you're finished, you can go to file and you can just say export, file, export. And um, PNG is great. Uh, that's a format that will support the invisible backgrounds. Um, if you just want it to be white in the background, you can just choose JPEG, but PNG works and just hit save. And then you can share that beautiful work of art with me. Um, one other thing is if you would like to put your name, you can sign your name in the corner or something like that. Sometimes that's fun if you want to have your artist signature so everybody can see your art. You can uh, you can do your initials or something in the corner if you want to let everyone know that that was your art. Um, that's optional, but if you'd like to add a, a little signature or something, sometimes people like to do that with their art. So I cannot wait to see what you come up with. Again, it's sumoapp.com or sumo.app and I'll put this, uh, uh, it's the paint version and I will put that link on Schoology and I can't wait to see what you create. See you next time.